Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Kevin DeLeon. I am your learning consultant for Cengage Learning and I wanted to make a video about how to set due dates for different assignments and different activities um, inside of MindTap. So the first view that we're looking at is this one right here. It is a week view, okay? And it's designed to help students manage their work every day. Um, and so you can actually set not only availability dates but also due dates for any assignment or activity um, inside of each chapter. And that includes the ebook as well. Although they're not graded, we can still put a due date on them and give the students an expectation of when those items um, we would like them to, to be covered. And so whenever we set a due date, those items will show up on the corresponding week here in order, and the students can just click on the item and go right into it. In this case, I made a, I made a test using the See Now app over here, and I gave it a due date. And then I would launch right into the item or activity. Here we are. So how do we do that? Well, the first way to do it is when these weeks are empty and do not have due dates initially, there is a link here that says Date Manager, and you can click on that. However, the easier way is up here at the top where all these views are. We are in this view right now, this week view, but this is a date manager view. And so you can click on that. And this is every single item inside of each chapter. And you can give any of them a due date and an availability date. Again, as I mentioned in other videos, these are readings. And you can see as I'm hovering over them, but also they have a little book icon here. While these are activities, they have a little paper and pencil icon to help you distinguish the difference. If you'd like to preview them, you can. But to set a due date, you can click the box and click the calendar under the due date section and give it a due date. Maybe the 15th is the due date of September. Okay. And, uh, and then maybe I want them to have um, this quiz and the mastery training done on the same day. And since I've clicked two of these, you'll see this box appears at the top. And when that box appears, I can, I can set an availability and or a due date for multiple items at the same time. So I could select two, I could select all of chapter four, I can really select anything that I like. And the reason that we do that is just to make it easier and faster for you to set due dates and match them with your syllabus. So by doing that, I can click the calendar over here. Maybe I'll give them a little longer since we've given them so much work to do. How about October 2nd at 11 p.m. and done? And then just make sure that when we, uh, when we do that, we click Apply and the due dates are set. This is really handy as well, especially if we have some snow days. We're coming into a semester with some snow days. So if you have some snow days and you need to set some due dates, this is a great way to do it really, really quickly. And then if we come back to the, to the, to the view... Let's scroll over and see if we can't find those weeks. Here we go, week three. This is the week that a lot of this is due. And so not only are all the items listed here, but anything that is graded, you'll see a G here because it counts towards grade. And this one is a practice assignment. But you can still see how many students have actually submitted each assignment. So it's a really great way for you to manage um, those activities as well. And it's easy for a student. So... For, this, for the groups of students in this class, they can see for week two, they don't have anything to do for this class. They can show up, listen, take notes. But other than that, they don't have any homework or anything else to do unless they'd like to. However, in week three, they have quite a bit to do. They've got some chapters to read. They've got some mastery training to do. They've got a couple homework to do, other things to read, all kinds of stuff. And so this is a really, really great way to manage those. So that's the first way that we set due dates is in this date manager view up top here. The second way that we do it is in this unit view, which is this middle view, okay? And you can click into each chapter, and on each item here, you will see that there's a pencil. And by clicking on the pencil, you can actually click this box and select a due date and an available date. Very easy. So just to rehash, you can set the due dates individually on each item by clicking this pencil and selecting the due date. Or you can come up here and you can select the due dates over here by clicking the calendar. 